what's going on everybody a quick mail day um only got like one more card coming to mail it'll probably just be thrown into a video but it comes out next week sometime but pick these up this was all off of one person for some reason every time me and him send stuff back and forth it just takes forever it's just one of the weirdest things like i can mail something to him he's in california and my stuff will go like to Cincinnati, then down to Nashville, then to St. Louis, and then everywhere else instead of just over to Cal Louisville to California. Kind of weird. Um, and I don't, I just, I don't know. <laughs> just our packages all the time take forever. But I can mail to somebody else that goes to his hub. It's like in his area in the hub, and it goes straight there quicker. But. All right, guys, I'll try to make this a little quick wild card. There is a football card in here. So up first, 2018 Topps Chrome Update, Otani Rookie. The little rookie debut thing is down here. I, last I looked, these do like about $150. Pretty cool card. 2012 Heritage Mike Trout PSA 10. These are still around $150 card. They were really nice to have for shows because people are always looking for stuff like that there because they don't want to buy Trout autographs that much anymore from what I've seen. Up next, this is a really, really cool piece. And I know there's a couple Buster Posey people that watch these videos, so I'll be sure seeing some type of email or message on to them. But Tier 1 from 14, the person got the authentic for the card, but an auto grade of a 10. Pretty thick, you know, patch piece in the middle there, bulge it out. I will say I found one of these raw that did 150, so where does it put the PSA 10 auto? No idea. <laughs> I wasn't looking to do any math on to it. But I figured we'd get some baseball while nobody's thinking about baseball right now. And Acuna, Bowman's best auto PSA 10. Back in the day, I think I had around... Oh, probably around 10, 12 of these that graded out as 10s. And the bad part was a lot of the autographs down here, he went off card on to. So I never really graded those ones there. <laughs> I just thought it took away from the card. But this one he stayed on card with. The last I checked on this, I want to say it was around 350, 400. Um, it's been a while. So pretty cool piece there. One basketball card, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. I believe, was this numbered? No. Unless I'm missing it, but it's out of 2022. I think they. this is one of those fusion autos. I'll have to take a look at it. I know when I was looking at these, I want to say this was like a $100 to $125 card. Pretty crazy. And finally... This came back to me. Joe Montana Auto. You guys probably seen it in other videos. So I did have one football pickup. This is on card. These do like 130 to 150 what I remember offhand. But I'll have to take a look onto it off, off when I get a chance here later on. But that was it. One person, you know, box came in today. Package, priority mail. Figured I would do a small little video on to it. Just show you some of the pickups. I've been looking at grabbing some baseball stuff to use as trade baits and stuff like that down the road. Um, since baseball season will start getting more and more looks here over the next probably 60, no, about 45 days or so. Because we'll start opening up with spring training. And then the season will start real quick and people will be all about baseball for about a week. And then it'll be all back to what has this player done before it gets, you know... Any kind of crazy moving up stuff. But pretty happy with this. Uh, a lot of different stuff for the case that you don't see a whole lot of. I mean, maybe the only thing I can say is the Otani stuff that's becoming very plentiful. It shows the PSA 10s. But I'll be talking about that into a future video from what I picked up today at the show. But other than that, guys, take care. Have a good one. I appreciate you guys watching the video as always. I'm out.